Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Cold this morning. Man, yeah. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, chilly day. <laughs> I know I was watching you and yeah. everything, but I was still. I was about to say, you know, we warned you. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. And so when you open that door and you step out, it's like, oh, it catches you. Yeah. It's still going to be chilly tonight if you're getting ahead of maybe some of the Valentine's Day celebrations, trying to beat the crowd or last minute shopping. Yeah, Maria, Dan, just wait. Tomorrow morning is going to be even colder oh. than what it was out the door this there's morning. There's your warning. Yeah, there's your warning. <laughs> your but, warning, too. But at least dry. Yeah. Uh, so we got another nice sunny day on the way tomorrow. Let's talk about, though, the next thing down the pike. And that will be our next weather maker coming in on Friday. So nothing's really changing as far as the timing of this cold front. Uh, that's going to be the driving force behind our next chance for rainfall. And we do expect to pick up some scattered wet weather as we work our way late into the day on your Friday. Right now, it appears that the rain will be out of here heading into the start of the weekend. So it is not going to linger, but we are going to turn colder. Temperatures will bounce back as we head through the next couple days, but expect a downward trend in the numbers heading into the weekend. Let's kind of give you an early preview here. I know we're already thinking about it. Saturday clouds early going to be a cold day for us. Only mid 40s for your high Sunday will be nicer, at least in terms of sunshine, but very cold Sunday morning and only getting into the low 50s heading into your Sunday afternoon. But again, at least we're not going to be tracking rainfall. It looks like uh, for much, if any of the weekend, if we have anything, Probably will wrap up Friday night, and by the time you wake up Saturday morning, we will be back to this, uh, which is what we got right now on Way 31 Triple Doppler clean sweep, no precip out there, clear skies, and again the main story tonight into tomorrow is going to be the chill in the air as you step out on your Wednesday. Let's talk about future radar here, starting off with the sun this afternoon, clear skies this evening. So yeah, if maybe you're not going to be able to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow, and you have dinner plans this evening. Weather will be good for that. Just make sure that you uh, dress warm enough, nice heavy coat or a nice warm sweater is uh, something you'll want out this evening. And certainly first thing tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. will be clear, calm, but cold and frosty as well. Allow yourself a few extra moments tomorrow morning. You'll have to do a little defrost on the windshields the way it looks right now. Noontime though looks good on your Valentine's Day. Plenty of sunshine expected and that will continue to be the trend through this time tomorrow afternoon. So enjoy that sunny and calm weather while we've got it. Heading into your Thursday about the only change. Uh, these will be some thin cirrus clouds that will start to come in during the day Thursday, but I think we'll still pick up a lot of sunshine before the thicker cloud cover starts to roll in here Thursday night and through the day Friday again in advance. Of that next cold front that we are tracking again for tonight. Clear skies will drop to around the freezing mark. Do expect frost out there with a light easterly breeze expected through the day tomorrow. Your Valentine's Day again overall looks pretty good. Eight o'clock drive in at 36. 56 degrees at the noon hour and we will warm up tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures here late afternoon on your Wednesday expected to be back in the low 60s. That's warmer than average for this time of year. In fact, these are the highs all across North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee at or above the 60 degree mark. Gadsden 63 Scottsboro. You're about 62 tomorrow. Same for Huntsville 64 in Muscle Shoals and we'll look for mid 60s as well out there towards Moulton there in Lawrence County tomorrow afternoon. Breaking things down here on your way 31 storm tracker 10 day forecast Thursday. Again, another nice day. I forgot to change the icon. No Valentine's Day is not moved. Sorry, fellas, you don't get an extra day. That is tomorrow. Thursday, again, just a few clouds, but still a good bit of sunshine. 66 for the high. And then there are your changes coming in for the end of this week. Friday, clouding back up. 40% chance for rainfall. Doesn't look like anything major in terms of wet weather, but we'll talk about how much could come with that next weather maker in our next half hour. Otherwise, rain chances do dry up by the time we head into the weekend, but those temperatures will be colder. 44 Saturday, 24 Saturday night. We will not be looking forward to that, but again, Sunday looks good. Sunny skies, low 50s, and if that's too cool for you next week, we'll see the 60 degree readings back in here probably as early as Tuesday. All right. Be still your beating heart. That is not Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Thanks, right. Jack. You bet. We'll be right back.